Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of a Diane Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. So I am ready for another episode of this, I've got a cup of tea ready, it's all looking good and this rain that's falling is helping this orchard. No it's not helping this orchard at all. Now I think I had this problem in the demo version as well. The rain didn't seem to affect the orchards, so the soil humidity of this orchard is not going up any. Even though it's raining and it's outside, so I don't know quite what's going on there. But uh, okay, let's get someone to go and water it. I think it should be a fairly quick job. Those two can go and water that. There's only four trees. Shouldn't take too long. There's a well next to it. So um, yes, last time we continued to make quite a nice bit of profit, which is good. I like the profit. We've trained up all our people to be experts in their particular fields. So the people in the production places are very, very good at making the cheeses and the meats and all that. And the people looking after the animals are getting the best out of the animals. The people that work in the field, well, when I say fields, in the greenhouses and in the orchard are the best at doing that particular thing and um, we built an extra little uh, thing down here we built an extra little greenhouse and into here we put peppers we've got peppers in there which are growing and they've got 31 days and this we saw actually last time oh it's bearing fruit again okay that was quick did that not just do that not long ago okay have we got something weird going on right okay well let's let's go and see if we can get the fruit out of there I thought we had that not long ago, if I'm completely honest, but okay. And we have researched a thing that gives 10% uh, production boost to all of our uh, all of our sort of produced goods. So there'll be currently the meats and the cheeses that we're making. So here, the yellow cheese and the uh, sheep cheese. And we are now researching the workshop for ergonomic arrangement of rooms for permanent employees, <laughs> which is which is lovely. That's my favourite workshop that I've ever been to, <laughs> dearie me. And um, uh, yes, that is going to increase the strength regeneration speed, I believe, of all our workers. And it's all the permanent workers because we don't have any seasonal workers because there's nothing really that uh, that is seasonal around here. There's no sort of fields that are going to come and go. Everything is sort of a permanent employee kind of thing. Just notice the silage is getting quite full. Does it have a capacity? I don't know if that has an actual capacity or not. I'm not really sure. Ah, yes. Last time out also, we discovered the power of cows. We discovered the financial power of cow's meat. Because we've got 5,250 units of cow's meat right now. I'm just going to go and check when that, um, when that goes off. I want to check when that goes off. 8th of the 9th. Oh, yeah, right. We might want to sell that very soon because this is going to make us 260... <laughs> Really? Is it really? 216 grand. Good lord. Uh, and it goes off on the 8th of the 9th. So uh, I might want to sell that kind of now. Uh, I mean, this is it selling at 41.2... 26-ish. I mean, it could be almost up to 42. So, you know, we're missing quite a bit of... Uh, quite a bit of profit from that, really. You know, it probably could go up to 220, possibly, if we had that. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's just, you know what, let's just hurry on until the next marker thing appears. I assume it's the next day when the price then changes. Uh, seemingly not. It, I don't know when it does it. But I'm too nervous. I, I don't want to miss the thing. Oh, yeah, did that go up a little bit? Or did that go? Yeah, that might have gone up a tiny little bit there. So, yeah, we're selling it fairly low still. But you know what? Uh, I'm taking 200. I know there's more. There's more meat. That's why they've added some more meat. That's absolutely fine. Do you know what? Yeah, to heck with it. I'm selling it. Oh my goodness me. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Right, forget everything else. Cows. Cows, cows, cows. All the cows. All of the cows all of the time. Let's sell everything else as well while we're here that we that we don't particularly need. So we're going to have a lot of stuff that we can just get rid of. I might get... I mean, is it worth getting rid of silage? We've got 2,317 units of it. We don't need that much. What if we sold 1,000 units of it? 253. Do you know what? Why not? Let's just do it. Let's just sell that stuff. Uh, and we've got ourselves cow's milk to sell. There we go. Let's sell some of that. 432 sheep's milk. How much does that sell for? Well, that sells for quite a tidy profit, actually. Animals are sick. It's always the turkeys. Yeah, it's the turkeys again. There's still quite a lot of turkeys. Right, yeah, we ordered some more um, more cows for there. Oh, they're still taking cows from there. Stop. Stop it with cows now. I'm done with cows. Stop. Stop eating all of our cows. <laughs> please. Uh, let's get rid of some turkeys, shall we? We've got loads of turkeys. We've got absolutely loads of them. So yeah, all your time and attention, please, on turkeys. Go and get us some turkeys, would you? Uh, yeah, there's another cow. Yeah, I thought I bought some more cows for this place. 
I thought I'd bought some more. Do you know what? Well, no, I'll just buy three more. Maybe, maybe it took those as well and got stuck in a bit of a glitch. Yeah, that's not the clearest thing, the little sort of slaughterhouse thing, of how it works. Like, that to me looks like a truck just appeared here and said, yeah, I'm getting ready to take some, um, some of the animals. But there's 25. Unless it can only take five at a time? I told it to take 15 turkeys. So maybe it can only take five at a time. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we've got some strawberries to sell. That did work. So let's sell some strawberries while we're here. Yep, yeah, they go off. Oh, they go off very soon. Yeah, sell those. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Splendid. So, uh, yeah, it's all going well. It's all going well. I'm surprised those strawberries came around so quick. Oh, they're very, very short growing time. That is 18 days. Yeah, the red peppers are certainly a lot longer than that. How's the humidity looking at the orchard? It's looking very good. Have we got full chickens? Yeah, we've nearly got full chickens. Do you know what? Let's just go through and sell a few chickens. Why the heck not? That's fine. Uh, yeah, everything is set to auto sell. The auto sell seems to be working very well. We have an awful lot of sheep's milk. An awful lot of sheep's milk. Do we need that much sheep's milk? We've got 57 litres in there. Animals ready for breeding. It's going to be the chickens. Damn you chickens and your pesky constant breedings. Um, yeah, I think that this it takes five at a time. Because now there's 20 turkeys. Yes, yeah, so it must take five turkeys at a time. That's absolutely fine. So we should be seeing us get some turkey meat then, I believe. There we go. So let's have a quick look at how much turkey meat sells for. It's not going to sell as much <laughs> as the cow's meat. That is absolutely fine. And I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. Oh, and everything just sold just then on the auto sell thing. 435 grand. Uh, I don't know how much turkey meat sells for because it kind of all just got sold. Because all the meat is uh, set to auto sell. So there we go. Never mind. Uh, goat's milk is one of our challenges. And grow three cows. Right, yeah, let's go and buy some cow seeds. Grow a couple of cows out of the ground. Splendid. Okay, well, now we've got a little bit of money. Well, I say a little bit. Now we've got probably more profit than we've ever had in this game that I've ever seen before. Um, we're going to put in... I could put in quite a few of these things now. We're going to put in some... Uh, oh, hang on a moment. It's the turkeys. Yes, yes. Very good. Um, we're going to put in the uh, wind turbine thing in the bobs. Because we researched the tech for this a while ago with the eye of kind of going, yeah, okay, it's brilliant. Yes, we'll have a few of these and they can just sit there. But, um, yeah, I've not put any in. So the idea was I, I researched them early and then thought, yeah, brilliant, yeah, I, they'll just sit and make a nice profit. And now I've not actually done anything with them. Now, do I want to have a little corner of the farm where I can just put a couple of these, possibly? They have to have a road attached, which is fair enough. Do I want to have a little bit of the farm where I just have, say, two or three of these in a, in a row? Uh, that's going to be for greenhouses. Yeah, I mean, if I did that, if I put one there, another one back to back, I mean, is, is that dangerous? Is it dangerous to have that sort of thing? Oh, call the inseminator for the chickens. Yes, it's fine. Um, is it dangerous to have have wind turbines back to back? So if I had one there and one there with just a road going round them, and then could I have, in theory, could I have one there, so that's to about there, and one there, and then have a path going up past the back of that building? So I could have four wind turbines. Is that a thing I could do? Oh, I don't think I can. I think the path can't quite cut to the back of there. But we don't need a we don't need that to do anything, do we? I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go I'm I'm going out there. Yeah, wind turbines, yeah, let's do it. Right, spin that round. One wind turbine just there. There we go. We're killing a tree. We're killing nature for progress. That's fine. And then let's get ourselves because I'm going I am going crazy with it. Let's get ourselves another one. We've got that money now. We might as well invest in this. Nice green energy. Look, nice green energy. Okay, they're building that. Let's just see what happens with that. Oh, while they build that, let's put time to normal. Let's go over to here. I think there probably is a better button to, a better way to get to this thing than going all the way over there, but never mind. Let's learn a thing. Price of land, not bothered. Machine durability. I don't really have many machines particularly. In fact, I don't think I've got any. Uh, quality of harvests. Not bothered, but that is that year-long one that gives access to specialised training. And it's got all this cool stuff in it here, like industrial poultry management training. Workshop for rabbit breeders. Workshop for farmers. Prevention of animal diseases. Pig farming. It's got quite a lot of stuff. It's got quite a lot of nice things in it. But there are all these other ones here as well. There's all these very cool things. So um, you've got rate of production. Oh, rate of production is increased by 15%. That's very good. 
That's very good. Storage capacity is increased by 10%. That could also be quite nice for these buildings. In fact, no, how full are we getting in terms of storage? 1,000. That and... Oh, no, that's entirely irrelevant. <laughs> that thing is absolutely not useful at all. Um, well, let's go for that then. Let's reduce our bills by 5%. We might as well do that. That time doesn't take long. That only takes 10 days. So that's fine. So at this speed, that will fly through. That's going to sit and make us some nice money, which is good. It just ticks over. It just constantly makes money. So it costs 60 grand. Oh, look, it's not got the blade bit on. It, it didn't have the pointy bits on, but now it has. That's very exciting. And I think with the money we've got, I think with that cash... Uh, that, we, that we just got from cows, essentially. I think we're going to do the same again, but this way round. We're going to put one there, and then another one there. And they need a road access. That's absolutely fine. We can drop that in just there, like that. I think it goes to about there. I can't see, because that nice red tree it was in the way, but I've crushed it in the name of progress. And then, um, yeah, there we go, a path. A path, a path. Right, and then show that. Yes, more turkeys. Jolly good. Uh, we must have an awful lot of turkey meat going on by now. Let's have a quick check at how much turkey meat sells for. Turkeys. Turkey meat. Actually sells okay. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, it's not, it's not cows. That's fine. That's an okay amount of money. When does it go off first? Oh, do you know what? I'm going to sell it now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that myself. There we go. That's pretty good. Uh, that cow's milk is also going off. Let's get another four grand out of that. Uh, there we go. Splendid. That's gone. And the sheep's milk is going off a little bit late. Do you know what? I'm going to sell that as well. Just I'm just going to do it. And sheep's wool. Uh, sheep's wool. Oh, that's pears. Sheep's wool does make quite a lot of money. But, ah, that's silage. It's it's changed me to something else. Oh, it did the auto selling. It did the auto selling. Hurrah. Well done. Okay, let's sell a big load of manure as well. Why the heck not? Might as well. Now, see, so yeah, I did buy, in the last part as well, I bought potatoes and pears and wheat and stuff just to give the animals something else to eat. So hopefully, they are, yeah, there you go, warehouse. Yeah, so allowed food, they're eating some potatoes and some pears and wheat. Over here, they've got themselves some wheat and potatoes and some grass as well. That's very nice. The cows have got themselves grass and crops and wheat and silage. Yeah, so they've got nice diets going on and it's not that expensive to buy that stuff in. It's not that expensive at all, to be perfectly honest. Uh, okay, the bees. The bees are looking good. Yeah, there's no melliferous flowers nearby, unfortunately. But never mind. Now, the, the cow thing is very bizarre, isn't it? Because you can you can buy a cow for two thousand six hundred, and then and then it and then sell it for an awful lot of money. An awful lot of money. I mean, you could just do that. You could just be incredibly rich from that. But okay, there we go. So now we've got four wind turbines just sitting there making money which is lovely oh there's a little scared thing running around oh there you go it's an it's the um it's the deer again well or the whatever it is the stag uh, okay yeah it looks a bit weird in uh in in sort of double speed but there you go whatever we are on five speed are we whatever the fastest of the fast speeds uh field is oh the fields are ready for harvesting i possibly should pay attention to this shouldn't i uh yeah i wonder if the crop quality goes down it would do eventually. Surely the vegetables would rot at some point. Okay, yeah, autofill. Yes, you go and do that, please. How's the water looking? No, not the flipping scarecrow. Oh, yeah, the um, the orcharders can go and do that. There you go. Go and give that some water, would you? Okay, this could be good then. So now we get to see how much the peppers can sell for, which is interesting. Again, how many we get out. And then the plan, the long-term plan, is that this is all greenhouses. All along here. I think we could probably get another couple in. We might squeeze a fourth in. I don't know. We could certainly get another two in. So there will be three greenhouses along here, which will be very nice indeed. That'll be a nice kind of profit-making venture as well. We can put stuff in there. We can put strawberries and peppers and we'll grow cucumbers and various other bits and bobs just because it's different. Why the heck not? And then, yeah, that could be a lot of fun as well. We'll see how that goes. How are they doing? Oh, okay, right. It looks like you get a lot of peppers out. You get a lot of red peppers by the look of it. Let's have a look. 624 kilos of it. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, red peppers are also a good thing. You get a lot out of it. Uh, oh, animals ready for breeding. And I didn't read what it was. Turkeys. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get some more turkeys, please. That's fine. Are they still going through the turkeys? Are they still going through? Uh, no. They're both they're tiring out. They don't seem to be doing anything with the turkeys, though. Uh, okay. Don't do that, then. 
Don't do that. That's just a bit weird. Uh, should we go back to sheep? I know sheep. We've not done sheep yet. We know pigs. We've got quite a lot of pigs now. Uh, take three of the pigs, please. All of your time on pigs. That'd be excellent if you could do that. Sorry, pigs. Sorry, cute piggy wigs. But you're gonna. Some of you are gonna have to go and be eaten. I'm very sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, you're getting loads of red peppers out of this. Look at that. They're not even halfway through. And they are absolutely... Oh, they are doing loads of stuff for that. Okay, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. We're getting an awful lot of red peppers out of here. And there's still the strawberries, which are maintaining their crop quality, even though I would doubt that. If strawberries just sat there for, I don't know, three weeks, even if they were in a nice well-watered greenhouse, sure they would go a bit mouldy at some point. Sure they would go off at some point. But uh, but no, clean it up. Um, while we're here, let's do another training thing. We might as well do one of these. So, uh, reduces bills by 7% available afterwards. There's another one after that. That's 10 days. 5% cheaper workers. I've got all the workers I want right now. Strength them, please, by 20% could be good. The likelihood of receiving a grant. Do you know what? For 5 grand, why not just do that? Let's just do that and see what happens with that. That might be useful. It might be terrible. I don't know. But whatever. For 5 grand, because we've got all this money. And how much are these things making as it stands? I mean, that thing, that, that thing, <laughs> this wind turbine has almost made five grand as it is. And it's just sitting there, just standing there, spinning about. So, um, yeah, in fact, all the wind turbines together have made more than that training is going to cost us. So that's absolutely fine. That's fine. I'm not so bothered about that. They're still harvesting the peppers. It's taking so long. Wow. Um, yeah, let's sell some more chickens. Da, 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 da. There we go. Chicken's done. Are the pigs done? The pig's finished now. Take above three from there. Don't take any more pigs, though. I want you to take the three pigs and then and then be done with it, and then be finished with the pigs, because then that's it. Yeah, don't don't no more pigs, no more pigging. There we go. That's fine. Um, yeah, sheep. Shall we shall we get rid of some of the sheep? I mean, what's their condition? The, the condition seems very very high. The conditions don't seem to be deteriorating in any kind of way. Yeah, it's fine, dude. That was the chickens. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 it doesn't deteriorate. The condition of the animals doesn't seem to go down any, which is fine. I'm not that bothered. It just doesn't seem to decrease in any way, shape or form, which is fine. Right, pigs can be bred. Yay, go and breed some pigs. That's very exciting. Okay, now what have they just taken into there? Some more pigs? What are you guys doing? I don't know what you're working on now. I'm very confused. Yeah, this, this this needs a little bit more work, I think. I still think that this is a little bit complicated. Like, I, it's a bit... Uh, it, it's not really obvious. You go, all right, turkeys, and then you have to drag a slider along. Then you have to do this and that and the other. It's a bit, just do just do sheep or whatever. That's fine. So take, uh, I don't know, six, seven sheep and do all the work on it. All the work on sheep. That's fine. Call the inseminator for the chickens. Oh, I'm just going to kill all the chickens. The chickens are irritating. And they must have nearly finished that. Right? Methods of obtaining funding has been researched, which is splendid. Let's go and get another thing. So, uh, was there another one of those? 7%. There wasn't another one that gives, a, gives us a chance of getting a grant, I don't think. No, that was just a, sort of a one-off thing, I think. Stars capacity, no use. Rate of production by 15% is useful. 3,900 red peppers. Goodness me. Price of machines on the stock market, not bothered. Reducing bills. So either it's reducing bills by 7%, which could be useful, because that's quite a substantial sort of chunk of, um, of money there. And then we get number three after this. Why don't we max that out? Let's get that. Let's get the cheaper bills. We might as well get as the cheapest bills we can get. We might as well do that. And you guys, now you're now you're done that. You can come into here, please, and get the strawberries as well, if you would be so kind. Thank you. We are going to go and check out what we can get for all of our red peppers that go off on the 4th of the 11th. Oh, my word. Do you know what? I'm going to sell them right now while that price is high. Wow. That was a lot of money. That'll keep us going for quite a long while. Uh, the wool also can go. Right, the honey. Yeah, I kind of missed the boat on the honey a bit. 23 grand, though. 23 grand for the honey. Wow. Okay, that's that's quite good. And we're just going to keep a, sort of accruing the honey. It's just going to keep going on and on and on. Yeah, and I see in the long run, in the long run, with all our monies, with the monies that we're going to buy, I would like 
to get this whole sort of uh, the field setup done, I would like to get the proper melliferous flowers and all that. So get the buckwheat honey in. I would like to do that. But it still does cost quite a lot of money. Now, yes, we can obviously get monies from things now. We can get monies from the peppers and the strawberries and the cows and the pigs and all that kind of stuff. But it, uh, yeah, it still needs, it needs to be done. It's quite a lot of money. It's a lot of money to outlay all the uh, farm equipment. And then you need to get the people in that can actually drive the tractors. Then you need to build the buildings that can store the, you know, store the farm sort of machinery and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, 240 might be enough. But I would like to upgrade this at some point. My goal is to upgrade that. My animals are ready for breeding. It's the pigs. Splendid. Okay, what are you doing now? I've completely forgotten what I told you to do. Uh, oh, you're doing sheep. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what the meat is like for... I think we might have some pigs in there we've got some pig meat 25th of the 10th we might want to sell that quite urgently 11 grand that's very welcome and then have we got any uh no we haven't we haven't sorted out any of the um any of the sheep yet i think we're still working on the sheep uh yeah it's slowly going up hang on let's just hoik time on a little bit make it a bit quicker and mutton so we should have some mutton in there right now let's uh, let's go to the right page that would help sell the mutton. How much do you get for that? No, it's not quite appeared in the list just yet, but that's fine. Maybe they need to ship it from here to somewhere else. Right, it's in the warehouse in here. So there's two sheep in there, in the warehouse, in the slaughterhouse. There's two sheep and uh, 225 kilograms of mutton meat, uh, which, yeah, I can't seem to sell. I would like to just see what that's worth. I just want to go to the selling bit and find where it is. But it's not coming up on there, I don't think. Okay, well, let's look on here. Let's go on to here. Oh, my goodness. It loads the whole thing. <laughs> loads the whole thing. Is it just a meat bit? A meat production? Is that, does that cover meat? Yes. Okay. Mutton. Mutton sheep. There we go. Uh, okay, yeah, that might make quite a nice profit, actually. That might make quite a nice profit indeed. Am I going to keep doing that? Yes, yeah, so I need to understand how this works so when the, with that ticked so this is ticked and that's fine are they then going to go back to the sheep thing next time and go yeah okay we'll have another one we'll go and take another sheep from there please so i might want to just do this i might want to go right take two sheep and no, i take one sheep possibly turkeys if you want to do that have yourself uh so spend 50 50 of your time doing that have yourself 10 turkeys that's fine Oh, and also I want you to work on some chickens as well for the minute. So take 10 chickens. And then let's have a third of your time-ish on everything. So 32, 34, 33. Okay, I'm sure those numbers add up in some kind of way or fashion. So yeah, so let's do that and see how that works. Oh yeah, and the rabbits. You might as well have the rabbits as well. Let's put it all on sort of 25%. So a quarter of your time and take a couple of rabbits and do that as well. Is that how it works? I'm not entirely sure that's how it works. And then, um, yeah, and then we want to switch all that off at some point and do some more cows. When the inseminator has been for the cows, we don't want to do that. Switch all whatever they're doing off there. So go, right, not bothered about that. You've got some sheep in there and some mutton meat. Great. Right, get cows in. Make us some serious profit again. Here comes a person with a truck and a green pickup running over the people as he goes. He just does not care. Right, he's loading it up with chickens. Hello, chickens. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Hopefully you enjoyed your little pasture. I feel very mean. I feel like a very mean person. Uh, we've got a lot of cow's milk. Got a lot of cow's milk right there. Uh, sell. No. All. Where's the cow's milk? I want to sell that, I think, by the 30... I know we might be right, actually, but yeah, let's sell it anyway. Sell, sell, sell. I think the auto sell thing will kick in anyway, I believe. Right, where is that meat? Why is the mutton meat not coming out? I need. Why is the mutton meat not being released? Chickens, yes. Dull turkeys, inseminators on the way. Come on, come, cows. Come and do some cow work, please. Strawberries. Let's sell the strawberries. Let's see how much they go for. Let's have a look. Strawberries. Five. Just over five grand. Yeah, that's okay. That's pretty good going. Yep, I'll take that. That's good. Yes, yeah, so you get 360 strawberries or... 38, whatever it was, 3,800 peppers. They take slightly longer to grow, but they were certainly more profitable. They were way more profitable. Right, let's get ourselves the rest of these greenhouses built. That's what we'll do. That might be a fun thing. So we might be able to fit another one in, you know. 
Oh, I think we can just... Oh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. And all the trees up in this strike. Goodbye, trees. That was spot on. That was spot on. Look, the side, that is perfect. Four more greenhouse. Well, three more greenhouses going in. That's very cool. Yeah, we do need to think now about what we want to do once we've got all this. Because I think if we get the cows sorted, we'll be able to go, yay, cows, right, brilliant, bosh. Make a load of money off of cows. Do we then want to start doing, like, do we do? Do we want to do fields? A field of that buckwheat stuff and then put bees by it? Or do we want to just start doing field work anyway? But the fields you can't automate, that's the only thing. If you have a massive farm full of fields, they don't run themselves. You have to say, right, do the thing on the field, right? Do the sowing and do the plowing and do all this and do all that. And so I imagine once the farm becomes massive, that becomes relatively unmanageable. I imagine that's quite hard to manage. So, you know, you want to keep it fairly small, fairly small, I would imagine. I mean, yeah, I want it more than this one square and I do want to get the other buildings in. And another thing I want to do, which is exciting, is we've got these production things in. I want to get the other production buildings in because I just think it's exciting. So currently we've got the milk processing plant and the slaughterhouse. There is also the frozen food factory here. $42,000 to build, or 40000 whatever the units of money is to build. But, you know, you, there you've got cherries and raspberries and strawberries that are frozen. And here you've got the juice factory. And I think that sounds like the most interesting thing. The mill just sounds like hard work. That didn't make much. In the demo version, that was quite hard. This is interesting. It's got seeds and seedling production. It allows you to prepare seeds and seedlings from harvested crops. So you need a load of crops, but you can send them back into there and make seeds and seedlings in order to then keep it going. So, you know, so you make it all sort of self-sufficient, which is exciting. But yeah, the juice factory is the thing that excites me the most. I quite like the idea of the juice factory. Uh, and then the frozen food factory as well. And then, yeah, we need to get these big ones. I don't know how you get the big ones. Yes, we don't have enough money. That's absolutely fine. But, you know, like a massive slaughterhouse and a massive milk processing plant. Look, it's gone like two sites. It's on two sort of areas there. Produces the same stuff. But I imagine it just makes a lot more. It makes a lot more than that. Probably a lot more and a lot quicker as well. So, yeah, we want to get those eventually as well. And that's going to be unlocked by some of the researchy stuff as well. Uh, okay, well, with nothing much going on as it stands right now, uh, apart from these things happily making me profit from energy produced this month. 12,000? What? At the end of this month, I'm going to get paid 12 grand? Is it just from... Oh, it's from wind turbines generally. I was like, from each one. Yeah, so it should be on about 12.9 now. Yeah, okay, oh my goodness. Wow, I'm going to make 12 grand. 13 grand from those. Now, yes, okay. Six, 12, I spent 240 grand on putting them in. But that's fine. They'll, they're just slowly making a profit. And as time rolls by, as the seasons roll by, we'll just quite happily just sit there and just reap the profits of those. That's very cool. I like that. Okay, more greenhouses being built. This is also good. That's well watered. Um, well, okay. Let's speed it on until the end of the month. Oh, no, let's speed it on until this thing's done. Until our financial training is finished. Right, okay. It has finished. And also, excitingly, in that time... The inseminator came here for the cows. Now there are five cows in this one. Uh, the rabbits are also uh, also going to uh, multiply very soon. There's going to be some more rabbits, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, we sent them obviously into here. Now in here, so, yeah, it's interesting. So they're going to the warehouse, look. So there's a rabbit, a sheep, a turkey, and a chicken. It sounds like a terrible joke. There's a rabbit, a sheep, and a turkey, and a chicken. They walked into a slaughterhouse. So there's some rabbit meat, some mutton meat, some turkey meat. Now... I, the meat, I don't know. How long does that go off? 9th of the 11th. 9th of the 11th. 9th of the 11th. I would love the auto trading thing, the auto selling thing, to sell every week. Because with those goods, they're not going to last that long. They're not going to last until every sort of two times, every 14 days. Because they go off in eight days. So I, I'd like the option to sort of up that a little bit if that was a thing. I don't think it is. I don't think you can change it. Right, okay. Uh, training. What shall we learn now? Um, we could reduce the bills by 12%, and that's that one done. That's financial training, cost optimization three, done. And that'll be sorted. So I think we do that. Ten days, that's fine. Six grand gets that out of the way, and it makes the running of the farm a bit cheaper, which is good, because then, yes, we lose less money each time this sort of maintenance stuff needs to happen, all that kind of jazz. Also, the... Um, 
people hard at work in here getting these greenhouses ready. So they've got to, obviously, uh, whatever it is, the first one is, they've got to plow it and then they've got to cultivate it and they're going to fertilize it and then we'll pick what we want to put in them probably at a later date. They've got to do that to those three first. And plus, they're going to be interrupted at various points by these things popping up saying, hey, I've got some extra stuff for you to do now. Here's some stuff to harvest. So, um, yeah, they'll be interrupted by those. So that might take quite a long time for them to get on with. I'm a bit worried that the auto sell thing is going to not work and we're going to lose all this meat that we've got off the animals. So we're going to sell these. So turkey meat, you don't get much for turkey meat. So that's fun. There's not a lot of it. Mutton meat, you get a little bit more and it's going up in value. So that's quite nice. A couple of grand off that. That's worth doing. Rabbit meat is not worth anything. So while they look cute, they don't really do anything. So I'm thinking, get rid of the rabbits. I know it's a bit sad, but get rid of the rabbits because they just don't do anything. They, they, you hardly get any money from them and they don't do anything else. Like the cows produce milk and the sheep produce milk. The pigs are quite good. So the pigs make a nice tidy bit of profit in terms of the uh, in terms of the meat you get off them. The chickens lay eggs. Um, also a bit of a question about the turkeys as well. The turkey meat isn't that good. It's not that good in terms of all the other meats. Let's have a quick look at the market uh, and then just search for meat. So yeah, chicken meat is kind of 11, so that's probably one of the lowest. Cow meat is ridiculously high. Duck meat isn't much higher. Goat meat is probably not too bad. So let's uh, let's take cow meat off because we know that's quite high. Let's get rid of cow meat. We know that's a good one. Um, goose meat, is that high? Okay, so goose meat is probably the next best one. So if we get rid of chickens, which we know are a little bit rubbish. So get rid of chickens. So goose meat's quite high. Pig meat, I think we know, is fairly low. Oh, you get a lot off a pig, though, don't you? Of course, you get quite a lot off a pig. That's fine. So, yes, yeah, so you get quite a bit of meat off a pig. Rabbits are rubbish. Don't get much off a rabbit, and the meat doesn't sell for much. Mutton is actually pretty good. So, the sheep are good for wool and meat. And the turkeys are kind of a bit rubbish. Turkeys are the same with geese. So, yeah, maybe goats. Maybe goats. Or just get more cows. I might get rid of that. Now, I can't fit another cow thing in there, which is a shame because of this, my house, my stupid, stupid, excessively large garden cuts into the edge. Who wants all this in their garden? I can't garden. I don't do anything. I have a lawn. I can mow the lawn. I can't do this. I can't make little, whatever they are, shrubbery balls. Shrubbery balls. I'm sure that's what they're called. I'm fairly confident they're called shrubbery balls. And if not, they flipping well should be. So, um, yeah, I, I don't need all this garden. I don't need this garden. I'm going to be inside anyway playing video games. I'm not going to be outside in this garden. Who maintains this? Am I paying for this? So, yeah, so I can't build another cow shed thing just there. Because that cuts, into the, uh, cuts in the way there. But we could get rid of this rabbit hutch. Because it doesn't do anything. The rabbits are a little bit pointless, really. They're a nice feature. And they come up in the little things of the little sort of test saying, oh, can you, you know, a neighbour's better that they can do a thing with, yeah, they can breed rabbits or whatever. Not that bothered. So, uh, yeah, because we're obviously paying a person. We're paying a full-time person to look after those rabbits. And they don't really do anything. So, yeah, I might, I might change that. And also the turkeys as well. Turkeys aren't that good. Were they the most efficient meat source? Because they don't lay eggs. The turkeys don't lay eggs. Like the chickens lay eggs. You can have chicken eggs. That's absolutely fine. They make eggs. It's fine. Uh, there's chicken meat in the chicken coop. Should there be chicken meat in the chicken coop? Are you feeding the chickens dead chickens? I'm not sure about the, <laughs> the validity of that. I don't know whether I want you to be doing that. There's not a lot in there. Yeah, the chickens don't sell. They don't have a lot of meat. Uh, the rabbits don't. Yeah, turkey meat actually sells okay Look for what it is. It's okay. Mutton meat sells better. And it's still rocketing up. Yeah, let's sell it now while it's high. So, uh, yeah, the birds aren't very good. The birds just don't. Well, they make eggs, which is fine, which is a useful thing. But they don't do anything. Yeah, so what was the most profitable bird again? I can't remember now. Uh, meat meter. Uh, so, chickens, ducks. Ducks are obviously higher than chickens. Geese, which are very much higher again. And turkeys. Oh, uh, yes, there's not much difference, though. There's not much difference. With geese, though, would you get goose eggs? Would you possibly get goose eggs? I don't know. Or duck eggs, possibly. Uh, what about eggs on the market? Eggs. Just chicken eggs. So, yeah, so the, the bird ones are a little bit pointless as well because it's quite. They don't get a lot from it. You don't get a lot of money from the bird meat. 
And you don't get any feathers or anything. You don't get feathers for, like, you know, selling to pillow manufacturers or anything. So kind of what's the point? The pigs are good because they make a lot of money because there's a lot of meat on a pig. So while the individual sort of cuts of meat aren't that expensive, you get a lot of them, which adds up to quite a nice amount of money. The sheep make wool, and the sheep meat is quite good, and the wool sells quite well. The cows are just fantastic for profit making. Rabbits are pointless. And sort of the birds are a little bit pointless as well. It's a bit rubbish, the birds. I'd quite like them to have a little bit more to them. They make eggs, which make a little bit of profit. These don't really do anything. Do I just get rid of this? Do I get rid of that and that and replace it with two more cow sheds? If I buy this bit of land just here, put some more cow sheds over this side and go down that route or put them over here or something, because that will be far more useful, far more profitable, certainly far more profitable. That is something we shall have to consider as we go through the game. But yeah, that is... That is something that we're going to have to consider. That the, and the birds just, just don't seem to make much money for the sort of investment that's going into them. Another thing that I'm a little bit confused about, if I'm completely honest. If I'm completely honest, now I, I, I don't, I don't, I've never worked on a farm. I don't work on a farm. I don't, and I don't, definitely don't work with animals. So I, this, I might be wrong in thinking this. Oh no, I'm going to go into slightly strange waters here. Brace yourself, everybody. The waters might get a little bit choppy. Um, so a cow. Cows, you, when they, it says they're ready for breeding, you hire the inseminator and a person comes in and presumably does some stuff to the lady cows with uh, bulls, something or other bulls produce, and then the lady cows get pregnant and then they, uh, they have babies and they have more cows. And that's fine and that's cool. I get that. I've kind of seen that on the telly and in things. Yeah, <laughs> all creatures great and small. Thing comes up here saying, the rabbits call the inseminator. Do the rabbits not just get on with that themselves? <laughs> Do the rabbits not just you know, naturally reproduce. And the kind of the same goes for the chickens and stuff. I suppose there aren't any cockerels in here, though, are there, in this bit? This is all hens rather than cockerels. Maybe the person at the inseminator just brings in, <laughs> brings in a man, brings in a man bird, and then lets the man bird go around the place and do his thing. I don't know. I don't know. But the rabbits one has confused me a little bit. I'm not really sure what's going on there. And yeah, pigs and sheep and stuff, do they just do it themselves. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but, oh, we need to water that thing. Water that, please. Orchard people. Yeah, accept that. Water that, please. That'd be splendid. Weather alert. Too low temperature. We are kind of getting toward winter. Getting toward winter. Right, yeah, we're going to get... Cost optimization three is... Let's just speed time on. Come on, finish it, please. And... Bing! Right, so our bills, our running costs, are now as cheap as they're going to get from the uh, sort of the things here, from the uh, researchy kind of training stuff we can do, I believe. I don't think we can do another one, can we? No, that's it done. 2%, 5%, 7%, 12% less. So that is, that's pretty good. That's pretty good going. So now we're running out of choices for these, really, because there's not a lot else that we want to do. Reduce the price of land by 10%. We'll get to there eventually, I'm sure. Doesn't lead on to anything else. These two, machine durability. We haven't got any machines yet, but we probably will have some at some point. The agricultural school thing is the massive one. 5% cheaper workers is possibly useful. It only takes seven days. And that offers up some more stuff, which just presumably has more cheaper workers, which is fine. Strength of employees by 20%. There's another one after it, which is fine. Machines on the stock market. We're not quite doing that yet. Speed of strength regeneration for seasonal workers. We haven't got any. Rate of production by 15%. Not bothered about storage capacity at the minute. Not bothered by that at all. Logistics management training. I wonder what that does. Workshop and warehouse management 2 and 3 are just going to be the storage capacity going up. Logistics management training. What's that? Stuff gets here quicker? Stuff arrives quicker? Or we ship our goods around quicker? Maybe the people walk a bit quicker or something? I do not know. I'm tempted to get that now just to find out what logistics management training is. And it's only 30 days. It's one month. So it'll be sort of mid-December by the time this happens. So, um, yeah, do you know what? Let's get that. Let's get that for fun. It increases the storage capacity anyway, which I suppose is no bad thing. So we'll get that. And I think, I think what we're going to do is we're going to leave it there for now. I know this has not been probably the most exciting video part we've ever seen. I don't think it's going to be the most thrilling video part we've seen. But, um, yeah, I think it's a good point to leave it there. 
We've got stuff going on in here still. This isn't really making as much money as I would like. Yeah, we need to we need to think about the uh, yeah the rabbits certainly, and maybe even the turkeys. Maybe even turn them into chickens. Get rid of that and put chickens in, because at least the chickens lay eggs. There are two sources of income: it's meat and then eggs. But then are the eggs worth that much money? How much do eggs sell for? I haven't got a clue. Shall we have a look? Eggs. Oh, all right, egg then. Chicken egg. Uh, what? One egg is two dollars forty. Good grief! <laughs> wow. Okay, hang on a minute. How much is a bit of chicken meat? Chicken meat. Uh, goes for eleven. Yes, but it's still the, it's the lowest, isn't it? It's the lowest of the meats. But you have the two dollars of the eggs. So that kind of offsets that a little bit, perhaps. So yeah, I don't know. The birds don't seem to be worth it. The birds don't seem to work. The sheep, the pigs, and the cows are worth it. Rabbits and all of the different birds don't seem to be worth the effort. They don't get that much money out of them, I am afraid to say. So yeah, maybe next time out we get rid of those. Maybe we change that to chickens. Or we just change it. We could just change it to geese or something just to have a look at what they look like. Sell all the turkeys, change it to geese. Do that. Might get rid of the rabbit hutch because that's not doing anything at all. There's no point having that there, really. It doesn't earn as much money at all. Uh, and yeah, maybe next time out we send some more of the cows away. Uh, one of your animals escaped from the building. Find it. What? <laughs> what? What animal? Which animal? One of my animals has escaped. Uh, okay, here we go. That this is fun. Uh, right, where's my animal that's escaped from the building? I've got two minutes forty to find a chicken, a chicken in this farm somewhere. Uh, okay, where are you chicken? There, 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 there you are. No, that's a bird. That's a bird. Damn you pesky bird. Oh, where's the chicken? Where is it? Is it, I mean, it's on the paths. Or is it somewhere on the entire grounds? Like, is it over here somewhere in the corner or something? Oh, now you're probably all watching this going, it's just there. You've just gone past it, you silly man. Uh, there's a blue, th there it is. There it is. Yes, I found you chicken. Yes, what do I get for finding my own chicken that escaped? Do I get anything for it? Oh, come on, you could at least give me a hug or something. Come on, I went and found a chicken. He was wandering around over here. I don't know how he got over there. Right, uh, who's looking after the chickens? Who's looking after the chickens? Bobby Collins. Come on, man. You let a chicken out, for goodness sake. Okay, so I think we'll we'll um, we'll leave it there. Next time, yeah, next time, I might invest in buying cows, sending them over here, getting the profit out of them, which is a little bit kind of... I don't know if that's really how it works, but sort of, you know, exploiting the, the game mechanics, if you like. And then I'd like to upgrade the, the house. I'd like to upgrade the house to get it to the next tier. I think it's 400 grand. It certainly used to be 400 grand. Yeah, 400 grand turns into a slightly bigger posh house. But um, you can... Ah! You can auto-trade every week. Oh, that's going to be useful. Yes, we definitely want to do that then. We definitely want to do that. We could purchase land and we can have bigger fields. We haven't got any fields at the moment. That might be quite nice as well. And if we do that with the cows, give us a tidy profit, upgrade our house, buy a new plot of land, maybe we could start thinking about doing some field stuff. Maybe we could get ourselves some uh, raspberries or something in. They're quite profitable. Maybe go down that route and then get the buckwheat or whatever it is. Uh, which animals... The chickens, of course it is. Get the buckwheat and then get some buckwheat honey as well because that is also very profitable. So maybe get one of these houses with just like eight, eight beekeepers in and just have loads of beekeeper cottages around a buckwheat field and just keep that as buckwheat and just keep it going and make ourselves a lot of money off of that. So that might work also. That's something that we could possibly think about. But yeah, I think that's the next thing we need to do. Work on upgrading this building now. We've, we've sort of, you know, we've set, we've set up, we're settled pretty much. We've got some stuff to do down here with the greenhouses. Kind of settled. This is the next big thing. I think we try and do that next time out. And yeah, I hope you can join me for it because I think this is all going, it's going quite well. I feel a little bit in control, a tiny little bit in control, apart from the man who let a chicken escape. We'll have words later on. But yeah, I feel like I sort of know what's going on-ish, potentially a little bit. Uh, I also do feel like I need to keep checking the meat, though, just to make sure we haven't got any meat in the, the going off and stuff. But uh, no, it all looks fine. It looks fine right now, anyway. So yeah, let's pause it before anything else happens and it all goes horribly wrong. So yes, hopefully you are still enjoying this. Uh, I, I certainly am enjoying it. I do like this game. I think it's very nice. It's relatively calming. When it's all working like it is now, it's relatively calming. I'm sure I will do something at some point in the near future to make everything go horribly, horribly, painfully wrong. 
through my own kind of bubbling ineptness. But right now it's going well. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with this series and all the other stuff that we do as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered and I will see you next time. Zombie, kill, kill it, kill it, bash it in the head. How do I pick the chairs up again? I've forgotten. Ah, like that. Oh, good shot, sir. I know your brain's there. Could you? Oh, sorry, I've just stood on your brain. Fuel in the toilet, yep. Yeah. Biofuel, I suppose. Oh, 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 I should, should not have done that. Go and wrestle the moose. Why not? I don't think I've ever said that before to anyone ever.